that was my second attempt at doing this. Um, when people want to bitch about gas and oil, and they should really think about what the price of going to energy uh, sufficiency, like uh, renewable energy, solar, wind. Those things are actually cheaper now to get uh, through government subsidies. And I think the latest uh, electric vehicle will be coming out here shortly and it'd be like $22,000. That's it. I mean, not that good for it now, but still, I mean, that's that's better than what it was. Better than what some EVs have been cost between forty five to fifty five thousand, um, and those things are just cheaper to have and more, and they're more sustainable as far as I can see. Uh, those who want to complain about having not having well, not having gas and oil are the same people that uh rally against uh the knowledge of climate change and a climate crisis and stuff of that nature um i mean what's her face uh i'll say mtj i saw the debate last night or uh, the debate and obviously it was not last night but a debate with her and another guy Democrats and 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 her state are running her as a you know she uh, uh, their candidate is not you know MT uh, MTG MT and you know it's like okay so you basically want to go with the same thing you did with Hillary and freaking Trump I'm not Trump this that and else and everything else in between uh she said that. Uh, the Democrats are anti-police or defund the police, yet more money has gone to the police. So that kind of destroys her argument on that one because they are the ones in charge of the Senate. Uh, therefore, they, they, are, they are in charge of the purse. They are in charge of sending money to the police as far as far as states and stuff of that nature. Um, she's also one of the Republicans that took PPPs and then bitched about when normal people got stimulus and i think she even voted against the stimulus um her and other republicans who are hypocritical some democrats are hypocritical as well so if you i'll just say it this way if you really want to change the fucking world or change the united states at the very least stop voting for either fucking party you know, make it to where both parties become obsolete. You know, uh, always write in an, uh, another person as outside of both uh, the, uh, both uh, uh, parties. Some people uh, had said that writing Bernie Sanders was was writing someone that was against establishment. Please, you. He was the uh, he was one of the candidates that sat there and and voted more times than not with the Democrats, but uh, ran as a Democrat. Only place he ran as an independent was Vermont. So he's he is full on Democratic establishment. He still has uh, a lining of anti-establishment, but otherwise he votes establishment. He fights a little bit, but that's pretty much it. He fights just as much as AOC does these days. And AOC is definitely establishment. Um, there's almost nobody in office right now that's not established and has not voted with establishment. Those who claim they have are liars. Those who claim that they uh, want to stay in D.C. to fight establishment if you've been in what if you've been in DC for more than five, more than a decade, you are the establishment. <sighs> so yeah, term limits on everybody. I don't care who the fuck you are. I don't care what party you're from. Term limits. Ban everybody from doing stock while they're in office. Um, ban uh, corporate. You know the uh, ban Citizens United. You know, stuff of that nature. If they want the job, they should be paid for themselves. And yeah, like no, no CPAC, no CPUCs, no CFUCs, whatever the fuck. None of that shit. 
all that shit is bullshit and you know damn well that that's the only way they can sneakily get those million dollar fucking uh, uh, donor bucks. Yeah. If you if you want if you if you want lower gas prices, get an EV. Stop with the bullet. Stop with the BS uh, of gas and oil. Go to EVs. Go to solar. That's the only way. I do mean the only way that you will not have to bitch about gas and oil. Because given the fact that Saudi Arabia now owns ma- the biggest U.S. oil producing company, based in Texas. If you if you still if if you want to bitch about that, but yeah, you don't want to go for new renewables. You ain't learning shit. You're not you you you're not uh, learning from past mistakes. Go for solar. Go for wind. And I don't mean the wind that comes from comes from somewhere else. That's what we should be doing. We should be going for for solar and wind. Those two things are natural. Those things will never change. Those things get those those things actually are are getting more potent because climate crisis is happening. Uh, see, we're getting a boost next year. Uh, now, I I predicted at one time on my on a previous show that it would be about nine to ten percent, but inflation has actually gone down a little bit to the point where it's like eight point seven now. So we're getting a boost at 8.7. And with the, with the IRA, or Infl- uh, Inflation Reduction Act, supposedly a few things are going to be easy to get to, and supposedly Med- uh, Medicare will be able to negotiate down prices, which they should have been able to do from a long time ago. And that was Pelosi bullshit. And that was uh, Medicare Part D. She put that in. Um, but uh, yes, this episode has a lot of cussing to it. Sorry, this is this is how I feel right now. Fucking pissed off because nobody wants to fucking learn shit, and yet they want to spout off shit. MMT is the way to look at the economy. If you look up L. Rondo Ray, Stephen King, uh, let's see, uh, Bill Mitchell, Warren Mosler, St- uh, Stephanie Kelton, back then probably Stephanie Bell. Um, pretty much anybody that was MMT uh, associated or were a full-fledged mmt or when they looked at macroeconomics, not micro, but macroeconomics, they saw what was coming years before. In fact, um, Stephen Keen saw shit going down in Australia about a year before it was going to go down. Uh, everybody else was pretty much predicting it since uh, 2001. I've looked this shit up. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yes. And by the way, Milton Freeman, he literally, now he wasn't on his deathbed, it was at a freaking lunch that he was having in uh, oh, uh, South Beach, I think. According to Forbes, I think it was. Uh, and The Guardian. Uh, admitted that his uh, theory of money was wrong. and But he also did say that he wouldn't have pushed it as hard. Meaning that you still would have pushed because you're still making money based off it. So there you go. Anyways, so yeah, Milton Freeman was wrong. Keynes was the closest to being right. Australian economics is bullshit, in my view. Um, anyways, thanks for listening. That's all I got to say for today. Um, I'll be posting more uh, textbook MMT on my Patreon. Again, that's patreon.com uh, slash uh capital uh y and you uh, pretty much you down with mmt but capital the words as far as that part goes the first letter anyways thanks for watching peace out for now